that is U Perling machine. The application is used for earthquake protection. The machine capacity is up to 40 millimeter, and we have tested the U Perling, which is up to 12 millimeter. The thickness is 12 millimeter, and the U Perling size is 200 in width, 200 in height. So let's check firstly about the sheet thickness. That is 12 millimeter. This is the product coming from the machine. This is U Perling. And this is the machine. Completely entire machine. So right now I gonna to show you from the fading part. From the fading part, let's check over check over the machine. How we build up this giant reforming machine. It's generally like the line was built up with uh, 18 rolling stations. That is two units of the feeding table and the 16, 16 units of the forming rollers. And each station is coupled with one unit of motor. And we let's check from the input array. This is the input table, non power. Since on this machine, the customer mainly want to do the 6 mm and the 12 mm. So it have to change the roller gap. We use this kind of the elevator with this hand wheel. It will lifting up for the roller gap this unit and this unit that we call like a feeding guide and between the stands also we have this sort of the vertical roller to guide the position of the sheet due to the this forming machine the insert material is not coil material it's sheet material so we have to guide the guide the sheet to go through into the roller without moving and then the first station secondary station it's the feeding and then cross the secondary to the first unit of the forming roller we also have this sort of the vertical guiding roller left and the right side so from this station we'll go to the forming steps it's combined the 16 rolling stations this is the first unit, secondary unit. Between the first one and the secondary one, we also have this feeding guide. Then cross the secondary to the third one. And step by step, we will see the difference. And then let's check how we're lifting up. We also have this kind of the elevator on top of the stands, left and the right. And this sort of the hand wheel will guide the side roller like against the edge of the sheet, the drilling forming. And then let's check how much big of the roller it is. The biggest roller is one one unit of the roller will up to like uh, 600 kg and this is the roller how we united with the with berry inside and this is up roller down roller And also we have this sort of the lock unit to make sure the stands will be much more on the place as well as this kind of the reinforce on two sides of the stand also can make strength of the machine. It's going to finish.
This is the coming product. some big heavy duty which is ready in the workshop the profile is u-purling the thickness is up to 8 millimeter and this kind of the material is high strength which is used for some particular system this is the profile u-purling and the thickness is up to 8 millimeter let's check by This is the material which is up to 8 millimeter. It's U-purling. 
somehow this is very sub heavy duty line which is transferred by gearbox and the hydraulic cutting die control panel and this is the product which is made from our testing and I gonna to show you the machine how we fabricate it this is hydraulic pump and this one somehow it's the uh, civil punching unit later we will check right now we will check the forming machine this is after forming the almost the, the last st steps this two units of the roller which is used for regular the u pearling shape so we can check how big of the roller it is the line has combined the a16 rolling stations Sixteen rolling stations, and uh, from almost about the from the twelve, we add this sort of the side roller, which will help to regulate the U shape, U pearling, and the system is coupled with cooling recycling system because during the forming there will be a lot of heating the material will be high strength and the temperature will be very higher so we have to use this sort of the cooling system and this kind of the casting pillar stand this kind of the pillar is made from casting which means this unit, this T-block unit, let's check. This T-block unit, this T-block unit is made from casting. It's integrated the structure, it's not by welding or something. And this inside will be well machined, it can touch the surface. This surface will be mounted with the roller bearing, heavy duty roller bearing bearing and this is how we do this kind of the eight millimeter this is the feeding and the leveling unit we have applied for seven roller up is three roller down is four piece of the roller this unit is made for leveling and these two roller and these two pieces of roller or we call it like two units of the roller it's used for feeding the material and this is feeding guide so in the input area we will have the feeding guide and the wall units of the leveling is seven roller of leveling unit together with two units of the clamping roller so this is the coil material which we gonna test in the machine this is coil eight millimeter thickness coil and we can check the label the material somehow is a stainless hot rod, Stanley's 304. The material is stainless and the brand is 304. The thickness is 8 mm. The width of the coil is 244. This material is coming from our Wuxi local supplier and we will use this kind of the coil material for testing the machine. This is the input array for the machine. And here we have something is under fabrication, especially for this sort of the inserts device and the heavy duty decoller. So from here, I gonna to show you how we make the fabrication uh, for the transmission this sort of the 
gap box is also made from casting. Up and down is made from it integrated there. Gap box. And the one stand, we have one independent gear, gear box. Each roller stand, we have one unit of the box. And uh, from this side, you will see, from each side, we have some regular or the vertical roller to regular the forming shape. And this is sort of the motor power how we united to the gearbox let's check the power the power is 110 let's check the label it's 110 kw here is the power 110 kw it's the motor power and this is sort of the reducer This cabinet is used for control the completely line, like a central cabinet. And even it's mounted with remote, will be easily for the operation. And to regulate the cable, we use this sort of the cable tree from the main cabinet to the control cabinet. So this is the whole view of this 8mm Uperly machine.